ปีจนปีครับรีมัมเบอร์นะครับเดี๋ยวขออนุญาตดีตนี้ Okay so as you can see all the kids are helping their parents right now There is a COVID outbreak happening right now so that's why Lee and I we are only traveling around in the province where we live so we rented a car we are visiting natural sites but of course we have to eat along the way and that's a chance for us to give some business to the very local towns like this we just left an hour ago but i'm hungry already so we are at kuan ubon rat i'm gonna order up some food and then we're gonna tell you all the details <laughs> Okay. Wow. So many fish that she is sure that come from the big dam behind us. Okay. Now, Nong c h o p t a n p a t o n a i m a t i s o Panin. Okay. Panin. Oh, ben l a p 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 Ben l
กุ้นเคี้ยงสูตรไปไกลๆคุณเอาก็ไม่ได้โอเค We are hanging out with them in the kitchen. The dish she is making first is bla louis suan. Suan is a garden, and the bla is the fish. So it's kind of like garden dumped on fish, and it's going to be a spicy and sour garden. I love this dish. You see how she's taking the fillet off first, but then leaving the entire backbone as one large connected piece, and the tail is on there too. You deep fry all of this, and the head definitely needs to go in there as well. The head of a tilapia has so many bites of tasting meat. Drain some of the oil and move it to the plate. The next step is that spicy garden. So she blends up some chili pepper, some garlic, and a ton of lime juice. A ton. Fresh mango, by the way, it looks like papaya, but it's unripe mango. So maximum sourness like this. Fresh tomatoes, red onions, parsley, and then dumping on that sauce in it. And then here comes the the poor. Yes, <laughs> the young boy is like. What can I taste? <laughs> And as always, although it's making me hungry, I'm just so happy being able to practice Isan language like this. อาจารย์จะลองจองซอมใส่ทีเพื่อนว้าวน่ากินมั้ยน่ากินน่ากินครับบอกคืออายุกี่ขวดแล้วครับ 11 ลาปาเป็นเบิ้งน้ําเนี่ยลาปาจะใส่ลาปานะคะเข้าเครื่องค่ะไม่ใส่ตรงนี้ใช่พี่เข้าเครื่องค่ะน้องมาทานส้มด
when they were dancing around, uh, showing us the way into the parking, we did pick the right place. We were supposed to come here, and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us for this meal. We are so lucky to be here. It is a good day. Wait, this looks absolutely incredible. So first of all, ordered a fish from that dam. This fish, also from that water, two different kinds of fish, and you gotta have a somtam to go with it. We got one plate of the sour rice noodles, got some sticky rice, and I am like, <laughs> saliva is, is working. I am ready to eat. Sticky rice, and you ball it up like this, and then you keep that. That's actually a few bites. I just gotta try that fish. You can just look at it and sense the sourness. There is red onions, fresh tomatoes. You've got peanuts, mango, by the way. Those are shreds of mango. That's just awesome. It's rare to have a dish like, like that featuring fruit on top of meat. I love that combo, actually. Then you've got parsley, you've got cilantro. Wow. Peanuts, okay, and lime juice. It is just packed with ingredients. And then under it, you've got, you got all that crunchy fish. Okay, how to do this in one bite. These are just huge, huge pieces. Let's see. Oh, that's the whole head. Okay. Mm. Mm. So sour, like a yum. Mm. So the fish obviously is deep fried. And then they just dump that huge yum, that sour salad all over it. Featuring mango and red onions, just powerful. Mm. Of course, garlic in there too. You've got fish sauce, salty. You've got lime juice, sour. The herbs, the parsley, the cilantro. Mmm. Louis Suan, so Suan is like a garden, so dumping a garden on top of fish. So Ba Louis Suan. So this is a wonderfully finger-friendly meal. It seems lately all the best foods are finger-friendly. Much more meaty, that one. Mm, just such a thick piece of meat. It's not that crispy on the outside, just wow, the oil, of course, adds a lot to the richness. But there's so much juice that comes from that salad, it's just dripped all the way down to every bite of meat. Even that is so wonderfully sour. Oh my gosh, this is a perfect meal for this beautiful situation. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that fish, that fish meat is awesome, but I see there are even more ingredients over here. So, yum is kind of like a salad, right? And it's going to be a sour salad. But some very key ingredients that I missed were the chilies, the peanuts, and then just so many. Yeah, I'm using both hands. I said it was a finger-friendly dish, but it's like, yeah, both hands in full action. This is actually deep-fried fish. So this is called bla gra, but it's a different fish than this one. This is a tiny little fish, so you can actually chew through the whole thing. Hmm. It's basically just as much for texture as anything, because this fish is where the flavor comes from, those really thick chunks of meat you can see, like that one right there. Hmm. Tilapia is such a useful fish. You can make basically any recipe with tilapia, any recipe for Thai food that I know. The parsley is such a good, good idea to add to this dish, and then at the base of the sourness of this yum, the mango is amazing and perfect for this. You know what? So I'm going to use my thumbs here, use my hands, going rice-free for this one. In the other hand, a bite of fish. Mm. The levels of sourness. I absolutely love this dish. Wow. And what a way to serve it, right? It's just beautiful. And it's huge. Just a mountain of fish right there. And we are going to eat the whole thing for sure. I think that was like the, the chin or the cheek and I just crunched through the whole thing. Mm. 
I didn't really appreciate that before I came to Thailand, but eating the entire fish or really using the entire animal, I really appreciate that now. I love it, it's just fun to go through the whole fish like that. There are going to be some bones, but, but with a tilapia, they are very easy to navigate. From one kind of sour, we're going to another. Somtam though is going to be, I don't know, it might even be just as meaty as meat because of the fermented fish, the umami in there. You cannot overlook that. Oh, actually they have dried shrimp. The dried shrimp that we have all over Konken actually comes from this oh, reservoir right here. The Kuan Kubonlat has large shrimp farms in the in the Kuan, in the waters of the reservoir. So this is full of little okay, so actually all three of these dishes are made with ingredients coming directly from the water that we are sitting on top of, and I love that. The papaya was fresh, we shot we saw grandma cutting it herself. And then the tomatoes, you've got the snake piece or the cow piece. First bite, som tam tam kola, cheers. That is my favorite order of som tam for a reason. Mm. I love when they mix in bitter fruit flavors like lime peel and the water olive. That is delicious. She nailed it with the with the combo. Oh wow, okay, tam already is just such a blend of flavors. Textures as well, but when it's just basically maximum levels of sour, of spicy, and of umami from the fish sauce. I mean, Sometimes your, your mouth can just be a little bit on overload. That is glorious right there. This thumb chef is a pro. Well. Mm. Okay, Miss Lutzer. How is it? The color so red. I thought it must be super, super, super spicy. But I got it. Oh, so what is, okay. It's spicy, yeah. but still can handle and it's so tasty <laughs> yeah i think she's an awesome thumb chef i think grandma is the, mm -hmm. the champion with the thumb the man do it oh okay cool. and the fish like this mm -hmm. it's not like a dish it's just like a sour crunch snack <laughs> okay <laughs> Happy New Year. This place is so pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Had you been here before? <laughs> I think we had lunch one time. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. She always my noodle. Okay. Noodle chair. <laughs> That combo, that is all you need. However, we are very lucky to have even one more dish. Wow. And for the final dish, la made with fish. I'm gonna stop using the word favorite, but I actually ordered all three favorite versions of each of these three dishes. So the favorite salad over that type of fish, my favorite style of somtam. And then whenever there is a lap made with fish, especially catfish, I have to order it. Mm. Oh, wow, and I love how they cut it into large chunks like that. The quality just cannot hide when it's big chunks like that. Oh, and then they do something genius, like make it into a lap salad like this. It just, it just warms your heart. <sighs> okay. The roasted rice powder is the first smell. Mm. Catfish is very firm. The skin is nicely fatty, almost, almost bouncy. I love the texture of catfish. 
And again, that was something before coming to live in Southeast Asia, I did not appreciate, but now I love it. Like I said, this is my favorite recipe for lap. And the herbs, the herbs are what make it. So the fish is so high quality, but combined with the herbs, it just, this is one of the best dishes of all Thai food. So you've got mint, you've got cilantro, of course, you've got dry chilies and fresh chilies. You've got red onions, they bring such a brightness, and then you've got garlic. Oh, it's cool that they've even garnished it with separately with more fresh cilantro on the side. So I'm gonna take some of that for another bite. I'm going heavy on the red onions for this bite. Oh, wow. I feel another one, let me throw it in there. So of course, lime juice squeezed all over, but then the roast rice powder is really like the, the main flavor besides the fish. Can you hear the chop of that red onion? Fresh, so fresh. And spicy. Onion like that is spicy. Mm. Can bring some tears of joy, but also tiny tears of pain. Mm. Masterful dish. The fish is blanched, so this dish is warm. This one was deep fried, so it's also warm. This one room temperature, the rice is hot, and you know what? The steak, the kanom jean might be the coolest dish on the table. So how about one more, one more bite, just so you don't think that I'm overlooking the noodles, but actually these are Lee's favorite. They are also finger friendly. So, taking some of those. Oh wow, maybe that's too big a bite. Let me divide that, and then, Go over here, find my spoon again. It's fun mixing the, the hands and the cutlery. <laughs> so got a chili in that bite for sure, then some tomato, and a lot of the cowpeas actually, so that's gonna be quite a cruncher. Oh, I see a green chili there too. Let me diversify my chili content. Mm. Mm. That was a big bite. What an interesting combo. Cool, smooth, calming. Mm. Fiery, sour, sharp, strong flavor, salty. Mm. They were made for each other. One more thing to do. Taste that bala. You can see it's murky. You can see there's also a lot of juice from the tomatoes in there too. It almost, almost makes you want to shiver. It's just bitter, just salty enough, but then it's also sweet in the way that only like a real deep bitterness can do. Wow. Wow, this is a great... Lunch combos cannot get better than this. So again, let's see. Let me get you a chili cheers, and then it's time for Lee and I to, to eat the rest of this together. Green and red. Christmas happened last week, but I still want to get warm. It is... There's actually a cool breeze blowing off this this lake, and it's like it's even past noon, and it's it's chilly right here. So I'm gonna need some chilies, <laughs> chilies to warm up right now. Last bite for me. Wow, Lee and I are 
super full. This is, that was amazing. Sour. It's definitely the top flavor of all these meals, but also there's just a happiness factor. Also, that's hard to put into words. It's so high. Mm. Honestly, I was very hungry starting this. We ordered a lot of food, but again, proud and I guess I would say honored to be the guest of such a cool family, friendly family. Did you see the young guy? His name is Chin. He came here, he even wanted to take a photo. So cool. Uh, hanging out. During the meal, we saw a bunch of kids on a raft being pulled by a jet ski. The party boat going by, which is something that I've done with some co-workers. That's a very cool attraction, very fun thing to do on a lake like this. A reservoir, I should say, a man-made lake. Uh, all over Thailand, and that's called Long Pa. Pa is the raft. People have office parties out on the raft. How cool is that? And they are full of fish, delicious food, usually barbecued fish. Kulan Ubon Rat provides some of the tastiest fish. Uh, also an important water source for this whole area. But when you have time, when you have free day with the family, come here, spend some time together. It is a beautiful part of Khon Ken. So we are going to go say thanks to the family, maybe have a little chat. I'm curious also how this family lives in this unique area. And again, thank you, thank you so much for joining us for this video. I hope you are warmed by this. I hope you're inspired by a family that is working so hard to still make make a living, but also be proud of what they're doing in this time of COVID in the end of 2020. Absolutely gotta love homemade stuff like this. You can see it's a barrel, by the way. See that? It's a barrel, just cut out with some boards on it. Uh, this too is just handmade. All the families have made these themselves and there must be like, there must be like 15 of these wraps. Mr. Chin. Hello, Mr. Chin. He's awesome. Okay, here's Mr. Chin. In the back, you can hear the pin. Absolutely awesome. The party atmosphere has started. Happy New Year, Chin. Happy New Year. Oh, five. Okay. Cool, man. Cool. How much? How much is this? Great. Good job, man. Okay. I will use my my bank. <laughs> Party time next door. That's awesome. It is New Year's. This is awesome. Oh, thank you, Joel Bruner. So, Mr. Chin, what is your real name? Real name, Okay, nice to meet you, man. My name is Joel. Nice to meet you. Hello, Thank you. Nice to meet you, Chin. Good luck. And see you again. Hello, Markup. This is her shop, that is her name, and this is a beautiful family. I'm so lucky to be able to meet today. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Nice to meet you. Bye bye. See you again, Chin. Nice to meet you. Okay, Pete. Thank you. <laughs> Happy New Year. Meet you, Kuala Chin. Hope to meet Pop Gun Ekan. Pop Gun Mai, Cup. Come again, Mai. 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 Come again, Mai.
่ที่แรกเรียนมาจากโรงเรียนมนตรีศึกษาครับเรียนมนตรีเรียนน้ำพองเขาจะเน้นเน้นทางภาษาครับเน้นทางภาษาอยู่ thank you thank you see you next time bye bye โอเคขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับ so cool nice to meet you Miss Stan Hey, that's so cool. <laughs> Jin is so excited. That's so great. <laughs> Love being up here. One of the first bicycle races actually finished at the top of this hill. Back at those times, I thought this was a big hill, actually, but. Uh, it's still high, it's almost 100 meters up. The view here is gorgeous, and actually this, this division between these rocks, this is the entry to the next province. You can hear Thai when they come to the top of something that's dangerous, like a road like this. They will honk the horn to ask or give thanks for safe passage along the way, or a blessing on what lies ahead. So if you find yourself at the top or the peak of many road passes in Thailand, don't be surprised if people are laying on the horn. They're not actually making the sound at you. They are maybe even celebrating. So just a little perspective check right there. I had to learn stuff like that. So that is Nong Bua Lampu province. You can see there is a plateau up there. And then right there, it's kind of in the sun right now, but that is Pu Yang. That's a national park. That's where some dinosaurs were found. And this is Kuan Ubon Rat. Do you remember coming up here before? Yes, please. You. Let me feel one, two, three. <laughs>